welcome to my workshop. I wanted to film a uh, series of readings from a book I really love called John Plowman's Talk. This is a book by Charles Spurgeon, nicknamed the Prince of Preachers. I won't give a long introduction since he probably needs none for most of you if you're listening to this, uh, but if you're interested, just go ahead and Google Charles Spurgeon and you can learn all about him. He was nicknamed the Prince of Preachers, preaching to possibly over 10 million people during his lifetime. He has more written works um, on the Christian faith, including his sermons and so many other books, uh, more than probably any other author I know of. He lived in the 1800s, and he wrote a series of proverbial wisdom for the working man, whether he's in the workshop or the woman in her cottage. This is what he has to say about him himself. In John Plowman's talk, I've written for plowmen and common people. Hence, refined taste and dainty words have been discarded for strong proverbial expressions and homely phrases. I have aimed my blows at the vices of the many and tried to inculcate those moral virtues without which men are degraded. Much that needs to be said to the toiling masses would not well suit the pulpit and the Sabbath. These lowly pages may teach thrift and industry all the days of the week and the cottage and the workshop. And if some learn these lessons, I shall not repent the adoption of a rustic style. Plowman is a name I may justly claim. Every minister has put his hand to the plow, and it is his business to break up the fellow ground. That I have written in a semi-humorous vein needs no apology, since thereby sound moral teaching has gained a hearing from at least 300,000 persons. There is no particular vice, there is no particular virtue, in being seriously unreadable. I hope you'll find, as I have, that these are very readable, both humorous and incredibly helpful full of wisdom, full of the truth of God's word. And so without further ado, I encourage you to click on the next video, uh, the first reading, which is the chapter called To the Idol. <laughs>